it is, uh, ang tawag doon, uh, the nature of this barment proceeding is private and absolutely confidential. And third, uh, maraming mga lawyers na of course may tinatawag tayong attorneys, lawyers oath, uh, rules of conduct to be a, to be a officer of the court. Maraming ganyan. But of course, you have to clarify this na may dalawang lawyer na very uh, celebrity or public servant, public figure lawyer. For example, one is that is a former senator na admittedly may ka anong tawag doon? May bawal na pag-ibig sa isang driver. Isa yan. O bakit hindi na disbar? Bawal na pag-ibig. Bakit? May asawa yung driver. Second, yung isa naman, yung isang dean ng isang law school na admittedly pinaperma ng isang false statement ang isang witness. O bakit hindi na disbar? So it means, may pagkapolitika ito konti kung hindi man. So kailangan natin ito i-check. Kasi don't forget, ang disbarment proceeding kasi, yung disbarment, sa aming mga abogado, parang death penalty yan. It, when say death penalty, it is the, yung pinaka-grave na penalty na pwedeng ibigay ng court is suprema ang tinatawag na disbarment. That's why sabi ng isang Supreme Court decision, disbarment is the most severe form of disciplinary sanction. And as such, the power to disbar must always be exercised with great caution. But, but great caution? Kasi, uh, pag na-disbar ka, parang death penalty yan sa, mga, sa aming mga abogado. But, ang tanong dyan, is there any effect sa position ni Secretary Larry Gadon bilang isang presidential advisor on poverty elevation? Wala. Bakit? Pwede ka maging secretary ng isang government agency na hindi ka kailangan maging abogado. As long as you enjoy the trust and confidence of our President of the Republic of the Philippines. And I believe Secretary Larry Gadon enjoys the trust and confidence of our President. Because yung tinatawag na cabinet position, mga presidential appointments, uh, is uh, depends to the prerogative of the President of the Philippines. That's why, sana uh, we need to let the Supreme Court decide, kung mag-file tayo ng MR, let the Supreme Court decide. Si Secretary Larry Gadon will focus sa kanyang trabaho paano tulungan ang ating mahal na Presidente about poverty na mawala yung at least mabawas-bawasan man lang ang kahirapan sa ating bayan. So, may mga programs siyang gawin. Ang number one focus ng ating secretary is ilapit ang ating government sa ordinaryong Pilipino. Focusing sa programs, projects, mga strategies, how to elevate poverty. Paano mabawasan kung hindi man mawala ang kahirapan ng ating bansa. Sana dun tayo mag-focus and I hope yung iba dyan, of course, may mga intriga dyan, dapat i-set aside na yung issue about disbarment, ano pa yung ginagawa niya. Don't forget, kung may nasabi man si Secretary Gadon, during that time, panahon yun ng politika. Panahon ng politika, it means sabugan yun ng mga issues, panahon ng politika. Tapos na yung politika. We are in 2023 na time ngayon, Bigyan sana natin ng pagkakataon si Secretary Larry Gadon how to help the President and how to help and serve the people of the Republic of the Philippines. Thank you and good afternoon. Any questions? We are willing to answer all your questions. Uh, yes. 
Hey, Mike. Hi, sir. Mike by our ID. Attorney Tolentino, good afternoon. Mike Navarro for ABS-CBN News. Ah, yes, yes. Do you plan to raise the issue on the confidentiality of the disbarment proceedings uh, in your motion for reconsideration? Uh, that might be, I mean, that might be a side issue. The, the fact is publicized. Uh, hindi pa namin pwedeng sabihin yan because ah. that is subject to sub judice rule. Mm -hmm. Basta sabi ko nga, we, the si Secretary Largadon is mm -hmm. not waiving the confidentiality. All right. Kung sagutin niya yung mga issue na yan, impliedly, he's waving mm -hmm. yung confidentiality and the, the nature that disbarment proceeding is private. Mm -hmm. Isa lang naman exception, if you read the rules of court, if you have searched the rules of court, nakalagay doon, disbarment proceeding is absolutely confidential mm -hmm. and private. However, may however, however, does the decision that is final can be published by the Supreme Court, like any other decisions of any other cases. Ano ibig sabihin doon? Kailangan final muna. Maging final muna ang decision ng, ng disbarment bago i-publish, but not in a social media. I-publish in a decision. May decision, like mga kaso-kaso, may decision, i-publish sa scrap or sa GR, GR, anong tawag doon, sa, ibig sabihin, uh, final na bago ma-publish. Hmm. Kung hindi pa, hindi pa final, we are just citing ano nakalagay po sa rules of court. Hmm. So, we are not here questioning the Supreme Court. In fact, sabi ko nga, we are here as a sign of humility that we are respecting the proceedings of the Supreme Court. That's why, sabi ni Secretary Largadon, Secretary Largadon is planning to file a motion for reconsideration. Ano ba yung legal effect? Pag yung isang tao mag-file ng motion for reconsideration, impliedly, the decision is not yet final and executory. If it is not yet final and executory, basahin natin ang Supreme Court. Ano nakalagay? If hindi pa final and executory, the general rule will apply. Ano yung general rule? Disbarment proceeding is absolutely confidential and private. Attorney, yes. And second, if you read the PIO, ano yung statement nila? I don't know bakit sino nagsulat doon. I believe hindi yun galing sa 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 any justice ng Supreme Court kasi nakalagay doon may 4 or 10 pending cases. Sabi ko nga, dapat, bakit na, na nakalagay yung 4 or 10 pending cases na, di ba, sabi, sabi natin sa rules of court, absolutely confidential and private. Dapat hindi dapat ipublish. That's why, kung sagutin ko yung tanong na yan, baka impliedly sabihin nyo na si Secretary Larry Gadon, he's waving the confidentiality nature of the of the disbarment proceeding. Attorney, follow up lang. Um, Maku consider ba na waiver yung media statement ni Attorney Gadon yesterday, saying, announcing to the media na I have an echo. I have learned from reliable sources that the Supreme Court has decided to disbar me in its on bank session today, June 27, 2023. So, siya mismo yung nag-announce yesterday or last night. Can that be considered a waiver? And yung grant niya of interviews kanina, uh, he was on Head Start, he was on Balitang Hali, and several other media interviews. Answering the question, can that be considered an interview? Hindi siya matatawag na waiver kasi nga, first, nakapublish na sa PIO, na Supreme Court. So, hindi siya matatawag na waiver. Second, he is not, uh, wala siyang sinasabi about the merit of the case. Sinasabi lang niya ang fact na may pending na disbarment. And sabi ko nga, yung disbarment, yung being a lawyer is irrelevant to be a to be a cabinet member. Hindi naman yan justice ng Supreme Court, Court of Appeals, RTC na requirement. Kailangan abogado ka or fiscal ka. Kailangan ka abogado ka bago ka maging fiscal. Kailangan abogado ka bago ka maging justice ng Supreme Court, justice ng Court of Appeals or RTC. Ang kailangan lang dito, 
may tiwala ang presidente sa kanya at may pagmamahal siya sa taong bayan. Yun ang importante para maging membro ka ng kabinete. Thank you. Okay, wala na? Okay? Okay, clear? Um, magandang hapon po, Attorney Gerald Velasco po. Good afternoon, Attorney James De Jesus. Good afternoon, I am Omar Hussein Jamel, Attorney Omar Hussein Jamel po. Good afternoon everyone, I am Attorney Horace Bago. So may tanong? Yes. Uh, uh, Attorney Mark Tolentino. Yung Pinoy Legal Minds sa SMNA niya ko yan. Sir, pwede po pakipaliwanag lang ngayon kung ano po yung plano po ninyo. So, hindi pa naman po nakakapag-file ng uh, MR. Ang, ang plano, ni, sa pagkakaalam ko, ang plano ng ni Secretary Larga doon is to assume the office and mag-start na magtrabaho. And tulungan ang ating mahal na presidente paano i-ahon ang kahirapan sa ating bansa. Yun ang plano niya. Do, do, so, sa... hindi about sa mga disbarment, disbarment. Sabi ko nga, to be a lawyer is irrelevant. Kahit tanggalin mo yung pagiging lawyer niya, yung legal knowledge niya, nandyan pa rin yan. Bawa lang siya mag sa court, but magsilbi bi, bilang isang kabinete, nandyan yan. Tanggalin mo yung pagiging lawyer mo, yung legal knowledge ni Secretary Lagat, Larry Gadon, nandyan. Ang pagmamahal niya sa pagsilbi ng taong bayan, nandyan. So, so what's the purpose? So, sabi ko nga, plus lang paging lawyer. But, actually, hindi siya one of the requirement to be a member of the cabinet. Hindi naman, sabi ko nga, hindi naman ito RTC judge, Court of Appeals Justice, Supreme Court Justice, Fiscal. Hindi naman ito ganun. Ang kailangan lang, he enjoys the trust and confidence of the President of the Republic of the Philippines. Y yung uh, tungkol po doon sa Uh, disbarment uh, uh, issue. Since may nabanggit na nga ho siya na magpa-file din ho siya ng uh, motion for reconsideration, pero up to na wala pa naman pong naipa-file. In, in, the, in the event na mag-file ho ng MR, kayo na rin po yung maglo-lawyer para sa kanya? Hindi, I'm just a friend. I am just a friend helping a good friend. Yun lang yan. And don't forget, in the very first place, hindi pa mag-start ang period to file motion for reconsideration kasi hindi pa natanggap. Wala pa natanggap. Ang sabi ko nga, baka chismis lang yan. First, wala pa natanggap na, anong tawag dito? Written resolution or order of the Supreme Court. Wala pang official receipt. Because the motion for reconsideration na ilang period yan, 10, 15 days yata yan, mag-start yan upon the receipt. Upon the receipt of the Resolution or decision of the Supreme Court. Kung mayroon man, baka wala. Baka issue lang ito. Kasi as of today, wala pa. So, we do not know kung nandyan ba talaga. Kasi the period to file motion for reconsideration will start only upon receipt of the decision of the, what ang tawag ito? Resolution or, or decision of the Supreme Court. Okay, thank you. Yeah. May I know your name? Uh, Jelly Gatsu po sa DCMB. Oh, yes. Tanong ko na po, Tony, ano pong reaction nyo na kaya lang na po si Attorney Larry Gidon na dahil malapit sa presence sa presidente at hindi naman siya fit dun sa pagiging secretary na Nobody will question the prerogative of the president. First, ang nung inapuensya ng, ng presidente, lawyer siya. A lawyer is an officer of the court. If you are an officer of the court, there is a presumption of, its, of your fitness to any position in the government. Kung pwede nga ma-appoint yung isang, isang high school graduate, pwede nga ma-appoint, as long as he enjoys the trust and confidence of the president, how much more yung isang abogado? 
Isang abogado na wide yung experience in litigation, in corporate practice, in business, in public service. So it means nobody can question the fitness or the qualification of a lawyer. Because if you are a lawyer, you are presumed, presumed ha, that you are fit to any position in the government. And second, nobody can question the prerogative of the President of the Philippines. Because you pagiging member ng kabinete, uh, as long as you enjoy the trust and confidence of the President, you can be appointed as any for any cabinet positions of the government. Attorney, yeah. if you don't mind, one more question, Attorney. Attorney, um, ang, ang point niyo ba is to say that uh, this is a political move on the part of the justices, um, the, the, the whole disbarment decision, and if we're talking about political move, by whom? Is it one, two, or 15 justices? Partly political move, Kasi nangyari yan, nung panahon ng campaign, mm-hmm. di ba nangyari yung panahon ng campaign, but sabi ko nga, uh, hindi natin dapat pag-usapan yan kasi irrelevant itong disbarment. Bakit irrelevant? As long as he enjoys the trust and confidence of the president and gusto lang niyang magsilbi sa taong bayan, pwede siya maging uh, presidential advisor on poverty elevation. Irrelevant kung fit ka na abogado or hindi ka fit na abogado, pwede kang ma-appoint ang hindi abogado? How much more if if low graduate ka, naging uh, naging abogado ka, so you can be fit to any position in the government. So, irrelevant sa kanyang position ang yung disbarment proceeding niya ngayon kasi ang pinag-usapan natin dito, whether or not the President of the Philippines enjoy, uh, he enjoys the trust and confidence of the President of the Philippines. How about the timing of the release of the uh, disbarment uh, oh, case? Na appoint siya ngayon, then after a day, maybe, I don't know kung maling pagkakataon, maling timing, uh, hindi tayo pwede mag- magsalita about that. Let the Supreme Court explain. Uh, may, may spokesman na mga Supreme Court, I cannot talk in behalf of the Supreme Court. I'm just saying here that the... The Secretary Larry Gadon enjoys the trust and confidence of the of the President. And yun ang kailangan bilang isang member ng kabinete. Hi sir, good afternoon. I'm Mariz Omali of GMA7. How confident are you or how optimistic are you that uh, the decision will be turned around in any case that you will be filing your motion for reconsideration considering that the decision was unanimous. It is a 15 uh, justices of the Supreme Court. Uh, who voted for for uh, the for the don to be disbarred? If you read the rules of court, because uh, this is not an opinion, uh, based on tayo sa batas, there is no such thing as res judicata in disbarment proceeding. Anong ibig sabihin ng there's no such thing as res judicata? There is no such thing as final. There is no such thing as final. Uh, nandito ngayon si Secretary Larry Larry Gadot is here with me. Okay, I repeat. Nandito na si Secretary Larry Gadot. He is the one. Can I continue? Bago siya. In ang disbarment proceeding, Walang parang kuhanin, walang tinatawag na double jeopardy in criminal case. Walang res judicata in disbarment proceeding. Ibig sabihin, there is no such thing as final. Kahit madisbar ka, after ilang araw, you can file for a petition for readmission. Masabi, as a general rule, five years pwede ka mag-file. But in a certain special cases, lalo na pag may special reason ka, kahit next day, pwede ka mag-file ng petition for readmission. Uh, yun yan. But of course, subject pa rin yan sa decision ng Supreme Court. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na 15, 15 ngayon, may nangyayari dyan. 15 unanimous decision, nag-file ng motion for reconsideration, nabalitad! May mga ganong senaryo. In fact, in fact may, may decision ng Supreme Court, final na, 
final na nabalitan. If you read the decision of the Supreme Court about cityhood, yung mga cityhood, sa, I think, 17 cities yata yan, final na. O bakit nabalitan? It means, itong mga decision ng Supreme Court, kahit 15 pa yan, next, next few months, pwedeng mabaliktad yan. Uh, maraming salamat, Attorney Mark, uh, sa iyong napakagandang uh, paliwanag. Magandang hapon sa inyo lahat, mga kasama sa media. And uh, natutuwa ako na napakarami pala na dumating dito. I think uh, this was only called this morning. And uh, I wasn't supposed to come here, but uh, since nakita ko marami pala yung nandito, eh, gusto ko na rin kayong makausap. Yung, yung uh, disbarment uh, case ng uh, Supreme Court is uh, something that I have not uh, really paid attention to because uh, I have not been practicing my profession as a lawyer since 2015. And uh, I got involved in business and in politics that uh, I uh, hardly uh, felt that I was really practicing uh, my profession as a lawyer. And so uh, I am not really affected uh, with this kind of decision. And um, yung maraming tanong dati na marami akong interviews eh, yesterday and today. Uh, yesterday, there was about nine uh, interviews by uh, the media. And today, it's about 12. So sabi ko nga, punta na nga lang dito para isahan na lang yung explanation. Uh, Yang, uh, yung merong pinaka-common na tanong, yung tinatanong nila na kung, kung uh, ako daw ba ay may regrets doon sa mga uh, actuations ko noong uh, particularly noong campaign. No? And uh, sabi ko nga, eh wala. Sapagkat uh, at that time, uh, kaya naman ako nagkaroon ng outburst noon, uh, particularly dito sa isang reporter na uh, nagkakalat ng kasinungalingan kay BBM, Eh, dahil na we are affected by the campaign, by in the campaign, I mean. Um, sinisiraan niya yung aming principal na candidate, so therefore, pati kami naapektuhan. And uh, alam nyo naman ang mga tao na, ang mga tao, ang mga Pilipino, napakadaling uh, mapaniwala sa mga paninira. So I had to uh, do something to uh, to counter it. And uh, at the time, I was really mad, no? Dahil na puro kasi nungalingan yung pinalalabas. And... Uh, uh, kung kung uh, nagawa ko yon eh uh, kung yon ay naging uh, contribution ko upang uh, mapatahimik ang mga paninira at kasinungalingan at isa yon sa naging dahilan sa pagkapanalo ni, ni President Bongbong Marcos then ako ay nagtagumpay at ako ay masaya and dahil na nanalo si Presidente Bongbong Marcos at uh, dahil dyan, ako ay naitalaga bilang sekretary uh, ng Presidential Advisor on Poverty Alleviation, eh, tagumpay na rin sa akin yon Dahil, ito ay pagkakataon ko upang maglingkod sa ating mga kababayan. Upang makapag-contribute ako ng aking uh, nalalaman at ng aking adikain upang makatulong sa ating mga kababayan. Uh, yung, yung pagiging lawyer, eh, sampusang pera naman yan eh. Iba yung, the word secretary is sweeter than attorney. <laughs> so, <laughs> hindi ako nalulungkot dyan. In fact, masaya ako dahil kasi uh, this is my opportunity to uh, uh, give back to our uh, kababayans uh, the enjoyment that I have in my uh, fortunate uh, simple life. No? Kaya... Um, hindi ito uh, apektado sa akin. At natutuwa naman ako dahil si uh, the Honorable uh, Executive Secretary has already issued a statement that uh, this has nothing to do with uh, my position as Secretary of the Presidential Advisor on Poverty Alleviation or what we call PAPA. And uh, there is a statement also that President Marcos himself believes that uh, I will be able to do a good job on this. So, it's a, it's a nice feeling also na yung buong-buo pa rin yung tiwala ng ating mahal na presidente. 
And uh, so, itong tungkol dito sa disbarment, I will just leave it to my lawyer. <laughs> no? And uh, one of them, of course, is uh, Attorney Mark Tolentino para harapin yan. It's, this is something personal which, uh, which should not affect uh, the way that I should uh, perform my uh, obligations to the President and to the Philippine people of my uh, being uh, a secretary for the Papa. Yeah, question. Okay, Maris. Thank you. Secretary, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. First of all, congratulations for being appointed Thank as you. the secretary or the presidential uh, advisor on poverty alleviation. With regards to your appointment, what are the marching orders of the president, considering that this is one of the biggest challenges? Poverty alleviation is one of the biggest challenges to the Marcos administration. Well, actually, before the appointment, uh, about uh, more than a week ago, uh, there, there was an event where he, where, where uh, President Marcos was the key speaker, and uh, he discussed this priority of the administration. Uh, it's also a focus on the uh, poverty alleviation. So, and then after several days, na lumabas yung appointment ko. So he is really serious on. Uh, uh, this uh, program of the Marcos administration for the poverty alleviation. And uh, of course, ako naman ay natuwa sapagkat uh, uh, ako naman ay uh, uh, talagang gusto ko naman manilbihan sa bayan. And uh, ako naman ay nabiyayaan ng magandang uh, mga uh, pangyayari sa buhay. So this is uh, a payback time. Uh, pwede naman ako maglingkod na. Sir, what yeah. specific orders were given to you, considering well, that poverty alleviation is also a responsibility being done already by NAPSI and DSWD? Uh, okay. Uh, after the issuance of the appointment, uh, I haven't talked to uh, President Ma Marcos yet. And uh, as I understand, that uh, there is already uh, uh, a program for uh, poverty alleviation and uh, probably I would just uh, synchronize and uh, I will uh, supervise and synchronize uh, these programs and uh, uh, create a better way of approaching this problem. Uh, kasi ang, ang, ex ang talagang expertise ko is uh, corporate management. I have managed uh, several companies. I have acted as director of several companies big corporations and uh, uh, my expertise actually is not more of a lawyer but a, a corporate executive so therefore uh, i can i can mm, i can do this job mm -hmm. sir sorry i just have a few more questions before turning over the mic to other reporters who would okay. also like to ask questions what do you, would you care to answer uh, some criticisms that this is just political accommodation the 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 uh, position that has been given to you because you were one of the most loyal to the unit team during the campaign period? No, uh, because I have a talent and I, I have a skill. I have a capability oh. to help the president and to serve the public. Uh, you can say that if this is a uh, political accommodation, if I am totally uh, uh, unequipped with, uh, with skills or capability, pero... Yan naman ay napatunayan natin yan sa larangan ng business and uh, uh, corporate world na tayo ay uh, may nalalaman. Kaya ganon. And yung sa mga critics naman, eh, yung mga nagsasabi na dapat daw ay bawiin yung aking appointment, eh, mag maging presidente muna sila. Hindi <laughs> mo sila presidente. The power to appoint belongs to the president. So therefore, kung congressman ka lang, mole, lalo pa party list ka lang, eh... <laughs> Tumahimik ka. <laughs> Sir? Magpresidente uh, ka muna. <laughs> okay. Alright. Sir, yung... Eh, nakareceive ko lang na 300,000 votes. Gusto mo, i-overpower mo yung 31 million votes na ibinigay na political power sa isa presidente? Hello? <laughs> Sir, yung uh, pagiging... Pasensya na, I, have, I would really have to ask this question. Yung yes, pagiging, yes. Uh, Be candid, ah. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I'm, tr I'm being very candid. Yung pagiging mainitin daw po ng ulo ninyo and uh, most of the time being emotional is for some people bad optics for the uh, the Marcos administration. Balak niyo po bang baguhin to or you are just misunderstood? 
I am just misunderstood, kagaya ni, ano, pinupunan nila yung uh, outrage ko kay uh, Raisa. Pero ang hindi ninyo natingnan, uh, kayo mga media people, eh pati di nyo tuloy yung kasinungalingan ng babaeng yun. Ha? You are tolerating the lies that were spread by uh, Robles. Ibig nyo ba sabihin, it's okay to spread the lie. And then pag may nagalit, ay, yung managalit ang uh, babalikan nyo. Uh, is that a responsible resp ano, journalism? Dapat kayo mismo. Ipunahin nyo yun. Because uh, the integrity of journalism is also being damaged by uh, those kinds of people. Low life. Eh, asan na yung ano nyo? Asan na yung tapang as journalist? Pagkakasinungalingan, ayaw nyo magsalita. Pag may nagagalit, tsaka nyo kami pukukuyugin. Ano ba klase yan? Okay. Sir, okay, one last, uh, one, uh, last two questions. Okay. Um, since you mentioned a while ago that secretary is sweeter than being called uh, an attorney or a lawyer, would you still wish to practice uh, being a lawyer, this profession as a lawyer? Well, uh, the, the appendage to the name is uh, quite uh, okay na rin. Pero kasi, since 2015, hindi na ako nagpa-practice eh. I'm done with that kind of uh, uh, hanap buhay. Uh, napakahirap ka rin ng, ano eh, yung uh, mag-abogado, mag-umpisa ka. Uh, biro mo, may hearing ka ng 8.30. Mag-prepare ka, alas 5 pa lang. Magda-drive ka, maghahanap ka ng parking. Tapos pagdating mo sa korte ng 8.30, sasabihin ng judge, 10.30 na tayo mag-hearing. So yung, yung losing uh, uh, a lot of time uh, dahil dyan sa ganyan. So I'm done with that. And uh, that's why I uh, engage into business and uh, consultancy. And uh, doon na lang ako nag-focus. And, and I found out that mas malaking kita. Uh, all right, sir. Since uh, you mentioned that you're done with that, uh, it's just an appendage to the name. Yes. And you were also quoted as saying na baliwala na naman to because you have not been practicing for the oh, last yeah. how many years? Why Since the, 2015. Yes, sir. Why the need to file a motion for reconsideration if you have well, no plans uh, anyway? Oh, well, uh, ano yan? It's just uh, the advice of uh, my lawyers. And siyempre, uh, maganda na rin na sundin mo yung proseso. No? Eh, pag na-receive mo yung notice, uh, you are entitled to file a motion for consideration. And as Attorney Mark Tolentino uh, has uh, explained well, uh, yan naman ay eh, pwede ka mag-file ng, ano, ng, uh, ng motion for reconsideration or readmission anytime. In fact, uh, although there is a rule ng five years, five years rule, pero may marami instances yan na ginagrant naman yung, ano, yung, uh, on uh, uh, exceptional circumstances, uh, ginagawa naman yun. Are you optimistic that uh, the motion for reconsideration, if ever you will be filing this already, it, the, the decision of the Supreme Court will be turned around uh, in, in your favor? Well, uh, if I will be given an opportunity to uh, explain, then uh, I can, uh, I am I'm confident that uh, this will be turned around. Eh, kasi ginawa naman nila without asking any explanation from me. Basta nala ko sinuspindi. And then, nagpadala ko ng answer. Eh, they did not even bother to, to read, probably, no? Kasi ang ganda-ganda ng sagot ko doon, eh. Kasi kung yung charge nila sa akin doon, tungkol doon sa, sa uh, video na outrage, eh, na-dismiss yung case na yun. Because I did not upload it. It was sent privately. Oh, sila yung nag-upload. And in fact, it was dismissed by the Quezon City Prosecutor's Office. And they filed a motion for reconsideration. And still, it was dismissed. Mm -hmm. Sir, one last. Uh, yung motion for reconsideration po ba na ito, hindi po ba mahahati lang nito yung inyong uh, atensyon considering that you will already be, of course, uh, focused and be very busy with poverty alleviation uh, projects and, uh, of course, your duty as a secretary? Uh, hindi naman, kasi yung mga lawyers ko naman ang gagawa niyan. Eh. And I have a lot of friends who are uh, 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 offering me their services for free na sila na gagawa. At madali lang naman gawin yun. Isa site lang uli doon yung mga previous uh, uh, ano. Uh, and besides, uh, I am uh, proud to say that yung, yung suspension ni disbarment na yan, it's not because of stupidity on the knowledge of the law. And I did not steal anything. 
I did not steal a property of my client. Wala akong nilokong tao. It's just that uh, meron na akong uh, pinagalitan na ano, na reporter na puro kasi nungalingan ang sinasabi. So I can I I, I can sleep uh, soundly. Wala akong ninakaw. Hindi naman ako nang agrabyado ng mga kliyente para sabihin na si Atty. Larga doon ay isang masamang abogado. Eh, in fact, ang nangyayari pa nga, maraming instances na nag pa ako doon sa kaso kasi mga kliyente ko, minsan walang pamasahe, walang pagkain. Ako pa nag oh. Oo. Well, uh, let's leave it to uh, the uh, motion for reconsideration. Yung ano. Kasi hindi naman yung ganyan ang findings ng uh, prosecutor's office. Eh. Oo. Uh, hindi na ako magbibigay ng comment dyan tungkol dyan sa merits ng case na yan. Because I am focused now on uh, uh, performing the, the job of uh, a secretary of the PAPA. Hello, sir. Uh... John Eric Mendoza po from Inquirer. Uh, okay. Sir, um, quick reaction lang po dito po sa statement ni Opposition Senator Ontiveros. Uh, uh, she's urging the President to reconsider your appointment, sir. And uh, ito po yung excerpts po nung sinabi niya. Uh, I've read it. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, sir. Ay, ang sagot ko dyan, magpresidente muna siya para siya magkaroon ng ano, power to appoint and uh, remove officials. No? And siguro, a friendly, uh, a friendly invitation to Senator Risa Antiveros. Kasi sinasabi niya, eh, yung qualification ko daw, I would like to have a friendly debate with her, an exchange of ideas, so that we can measure the quality of our intelligence. No? Uh, iparating niyo sa kanya na I want to have a friendly uh, conversation or debate with her so that we can compare notes kung sino ang mas na may nalalaman sa amin. Uh, sir, good uh, afternoon po. Denise Osorio po from Global Daily Mirror. Um, sir, this is in regards po to your statement uh, you issued last night. Out of uh, curiosity, what was the reason behind preempting a statement before the Supreme Court released theirs? Well, uh, because... Uh, I wanted to, to let you know para meron kayong advance report. Uh, because uh, al alam nyo, member din ako ng media. Member nga ako ng National Press Club. And I have a radio show. So I understand the needs of reporters like you, like us, that maganda yung meron tayong advance. Ito, isulat na natin. Para pagdating na official report, pa, nakalarga na. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, you should thank me for that, for giving you an advanced information. <laughs> oh, and I love the attention. <laughs> Imagine I have a free uh, advertisement o ganyan. Eh, yung mga tao naman, what they will remember, eh, kung ano yung gusto kong gawing maganda. Hindi naman itong disbarment na ito. They will never mind this. <laughs> Sorry. Sir, um... Ah, ang isa lang ang pakiusap ko sa inyo, No? Sa lahat ng mga sinusulat nyo, uh, even if uh, these are negative comments or no, just see to it that my name is spelled correctly. Ha? Kasi sa pagboto, ano yan eh, kailangan ta exacto yung pangalan. No? Kasi yung iba, uh, in-spell, Atty. Gabon. Ganyan, hindi yun. Eh, that was the live uh, press conference of presidential advisor on poverty alleviation, Larry Gadon. He says he has yet to talk to President Marcos following his disbarment. Gadon says he will follow the process in appealing his case. He asserts despite the disbarment, he has the skill, talent, and capability to serve the public. He says he will now focus on his job as secretary on uh, poverty alleviation. I'm Ruth Cabal. Keep it here on CNN Philippines. Uh, 10 million votes. And wala pang iglesia yun. No? So meaning, ang base vote ko ay, ay uh, 10 million. 
And uh, if you will notice, no, uh, I got more votes than Senator Dick Gordon, who was an incumbent senator. And I got more votes than Trillanes, who was a two-termer senator. And Laila Bilima, who was an incumbent senator. So it's a good showing. No? I'm proud of it. Biro mo si Larry Gadon. Eh, nalampasan sila. Eh, mga veterano na yun sa Senate yung mga yan. And no ads. No ads. No big uh, billboards. And I, nakikita ko kayo eh, during the rallies and during uh, our sorties, it's on record. It's on record that I was the most uploaded candidate nationwide next to Robin Padilla. Pag wala si Robin Padilla, ako yung most uploaded candidate. <laughs> e artista yun eh. Mas pogi sa akin yun, ng 10%. So, <laughs> eh, natural lang yun. Palakpakan siya. Eh, artista eh. Siguro sabi nila, mas pogi si Robin Padilla. Lamang ng 10% kay uh, Larry Gadon. To follow up lang po, earlier you mentioned that you want to be remembered for the good things that you've done. Um, previously po, there was a report about your plans, uh, feeding program, nutrition program. Could you expound a little on that? Yes. Uh, uh, ang month of July kasi is uh, declared as a nutrition month. And I have read a report that uh, the reason why uh, we have a low quality of education among the elementary students because some of them are, uh, uh, some of them lack uh, uh, the uh, proper nutrition and some of them are uh, uh, hungry when they come, when they go to school. Siyempre, ito yung talaga mga pinakamababang, to the lowest uh, straight out of society. Yung iba talaga dyan, hindi talaga nakakain ng tama. And do you know that uh, it was uh, cited as one of the reasons for a low quality or low level of comprehension among the students? So, siguro, since this is also part of poverty alleviation, if we can give them proper nutrients, if we can give them feeding program, and uh, if they can study well and they can uh, acquire a quality education, then they have a better fighting uh, chance in, in their futures na maging maganda yung buhay nila. And we can uplift them from uh, the status of uh, poverty. Kaya yun ang ano. And I will call this sa program as BBM. Batang busog, malusog. And this is very different from the concept of the dole outs being given by DSWD, by the NAPSI, and uh, so on and so forth. Because I am going to... Uh, Re recalling the, the, the advocacy of President Bongbong Marcos of uh, the sama-sama tayong babangon muli, I want to, to ignite the interest of uh, the private sector, particularly the big companies, to adopt this kind of program that uh, sila na yung direkta na mag-adopt ng mga schools and then kahit once or twice a week, eh, me meron silang feeding program doon sa mga elementary schools. I'm targeting ha, the, the elementary public schools. Yun naman kasing tupad. Eh, ano yan eh, pang pamilya, yung uh, poor face, pang pamilya, ganyan. But this no program yet has been created to focus on the, uh, nutrients, the nutrition of uh, the elementary students. Lalong-lalo ng lalo, public schools. So doon ako magpo-focus ng... Eh, ano lang yan eh, it's... Hindi naman yan yung talagang the whole program of uh, poverty alleviation. But uh, uh, since it's July and uh, uh, July is forthcoming and uh, uh, it has been declared as the nutrition month. So naisipan ko yun na ganun. Na gawin yun. And I have lots of ideas also which I will discuss with our uh, president, Bongbong Marcos, tungkol dun sa poverty alleviation na something which are not yet being touched by the uh, present uh, agencies. Second. And ito pa, dahil diniscuss ko yan, sa TV, may nakapanood niya na isang uh, napakalaking kumpanya na merong uh, uh, branches all over the country. Tumawag na. And 
uh, uh, declared their support to the program and said that they want to be a partner. Uh, actually, itong isang ano na to, kaya na nilang sagutin yung uh, ano eh, yung... Well, pero uh, what I want to do here is uh, uh, dahil nga yung sinabi ni President Bongbong Marcos na sama-sama tayong babangon muli, I want to to create a kind of culture among the Filipinos na talagang magtulungan na tayo sa isa't isa. Yung bang uh, kaya nyo naman pala na magbigay ng tulong dyan, eh gawin na ninyo. Uh, gusto ko magkaroon ng uh, mag, mag start ito na ganyan ang gawin natin na, na kultura ng pagtutulungan. At wala tayong pipiliin dyan. Kay pula o dilaw o komunista o ano. Wala yan. Ang, ang inaano dito, tingnan natin yung sitwasyon ng mga kabataan. Yan, Sef. O, sakto sa King Glenwego di sa WB. Sef, sakto yung sinabi mo, uh, walang pipiliin. Sir, uh, may mga encounters ka na before sa mga militante, sa mga raliyista. Paano nyo hububuksan yung linya ninyo dito sa mga mararalita na karamihan dito na kararanas ng matinding hirap? Eh, hindi naman ako kailangan dumaan sa kanila. Eh. Diteretso ako doon sa mga tao. Eh, sino ba yung mga yan? Yung mga leaders na ilan lang naman sila. Out of 100,000 siguro, baka wala pang 100 yung mga yan. And we all know that these people are doing this for hanap buhay, yung mga leaders niya. So I don't care about them. Eh, ibig mo sabihin, yung mga nagugutom dyan, pag iaalo ko ng pagkain, pupunta ba ba yan sa anak bayan? Uy, pwede ba namin tanggapin to? Of course not. I can give it to them directly. No? And I will ask them, ikaw ba, supporter ka ng anak bayan? Ay, dahil pagka supporter, hindi kita bibigyan. That, that will never happen. Oh, again. Hindi natin kailangan dumaan sa kanila. Bakit ba sinasabi nila na kailangan natin ng kooperasyon nila? No. Hindi. Eh kung gusto nila, kung sila mismo, pati nagugutom, hindi sila nababayaran ng mga nagbabayad sa rally sa kanila, pati sila, bibigyan ko ng tulong. Oo. O pag hindi nakakulekta sila doon sa mga nagpaparally sila, o ito, ito lang, bigyan ko kayo ng pagkain. Sir, uh, sorry sir, one more question. Si Secretary Paul Soriano sir, sabi siya na piso lang yung sahod niya per year. Uh, may we ask sir, if yung position niyo po is pro bono or with ano po? Hey, actually, hindi ko pa alam kasi uh, this is a... Uh, ang, ang kaibahan kasi nitong presidential advisor on uh, poverty alleviation is I as I understand uh, which was explained to me also by some officers in Malacanang, that this will be an office, a full, full-pledged full office na meron talagang budget and staffing and salary. Hindi ito yung, yung consultant sa uh, uh, office. Kundi this is a full uh, working office, operation, operational office. Uh -oh. Ay, hindi ko alam yung budget niya kung magkano. At hindi ko na alam, hindi na dadaan yan sa ano, sa... Uh, 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 ano sa GA ng co sa Congress kasi it is already a budget of the office of the president. Ah uh, hindi din. Uh, hindi din kasi because this is not a line uh, cabinet no na kagaya ng DPWH o mga ganyan. Hindi naman ganoon. Uh, I uh, would like to bring your attention that this office is the office of the president. Presidential Advisor on Poverty Alleviation. Uh, yeah, initially, I was informed that I will be holding office in Malacanang. Pero, halos naman ano, dahil ang gagawin ko naman yan, iikot ako eh. So, uh, siguro, iiwan ko lang doon yung mga, yung mga mapagkakatiwalaan ko na mga tao, kagaya ni Attorney Mark, ni Attorney James, uh, mga, sila yung... Uh, uh, magiging uh, operator suit sa office. But I will be uh, going around to, to check. Iba na rin yung hands-on niya. Eh. And uh, being an executive for so many years, more than 30 years, uh, ano talaga hands-on ako? Umiikot ako kahit sa mga companies ko na mga minanage. And uh, yung mga minanage yung companies, yung naging executive ako, ma malalaking kumpanya, ma kaya hindi ano, yung uh, hindi masasayang yung naging uh, training and experience ko dyan. Okay, last question. Okay. 
Ah, okay, ganda po sir. Teka muna. May may kumain na ba sila? <laughs> Hindi naman sige, I can entertain siguro mga 3 or 4 questions pa. Maaga pa naman eh. Ah, uh, 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 sige sige. Hi, okay, ganda po po. I'm the doctor of UNTV po. Uh, I don't think kung natanong na po ito sa inyo, your lawyer po, one of the members of your legal team, kanina ay nagsabing maaaring uh, napolitika ho kayo. Uh, kayo po, ano po ba ang take ninyo? Kayo po ba um, napolitika? With this uh, recent uh, decision po by the Supreme Court. Well, uh, hindi ako pwede mag-comment dyan eh. Pero ang, as I recall lang, ha, uh, meron kasi ako mga skirmishes with uh, some uh, members of the Supreme Court eh. Oh, di ba? Uh, alam nyo naman yung... Uh, na, you can just check the previous uh, news. <laughs> o para ano. Uh, uh, um, makikita nyo naman dun eh kung anong naging uh, skirmishes ko with the Supreme Court. The timing ho. Huh? The timing po. Yung timing. Well, uh, yung timing, eh, alam mo naman, uh, they must have Some people must have guessed that uh, I will be appointed soon. And uh, kaya siguro, they think that uh, this uh, it, uh, incident will uh, prevent uh, President Bongbong Marcos from uh, appointing me. Pero hindi. Eh. Sinabi na nga sa ano eh. Nag-issue na ng official statement si uh, Executive Secretary Bersame na si BPM doesn't mind that uh, kind of incident. At as it has nothing to do with the performance or the obligations that I will be uh, having in the position of Secretary of Papa. One more. Uh, okay, okay. One more lang. Secretary, good afternoon. Mike Nabali, oh. ABS-CBN. Uh, sec, paano ho ba kayo in-approach ni President BPM to be offered this position. Sinabi ba niya na we're creating this position for you? Or nagkaroon ba ng discussion as to anong pwedeng role mo in his administration? Well, uh, lahat naman ng mga appointees eh, kinakausap muna na ito ang papagawa sa'yo, ganyan, ito ang magiging position mo. So there's no surprise in it. Wala namang basta na liya appoint yun. <laughs> na ano, uh, When was this? Well, Nag-usap kami siguro about three weeks ago ng possibilities ng pwede kong uh, maging uh, position and ganyan. And then I left it to him kung ano. Mm -hmm. Nabanggit ba niya, Sek, kung ano yung exactly yung qualities mo that uh, will make you a good fit for that particular position? Uh, hindi siguro kasi alam naman niya yung background ko. Eh. Because this is, not, this is not the first time that we have talked to each other. Mm -hmm. eh, magkasama nga kami sa campaign ng araw-araw eh. Uh, from uh, morning till evening. Kaya, syempre, uh, nakakapag-usap kami, exchange of ideas. Alam naman niya kung ano yung uh, background ko, yung expertise ko, yung aking uh, uh, mga gustong gawin. So, it is no longer a surprise to me kung meron man siyang i-offer na. No? Mm -hmm. Last na lang, sec. Um, okay. Si E.S. Bersamin said that uh, they were aware of the cases that you have uh, yes. pending before the Supreme Court. So, This is not sort of a surprise to the admin. Uh, at, the yes, same time, at the same time, there were rumors before that you might be appointed to a cabinet position, say, Department of Justice. Well, oh. Was there ever any conversation with the president about that possible role? No. Uh, it was a joke only, yung, okay. yung Department of Justice and uh, fake news. Yung, uh, you know, uh, Boying, Secretary Boying Rimulia is doing a good job. He's a friend and he helped us a lot. Not only BBN, but also... Uh, yours truly. So, hindi ako mag-aspire na aagawan siya ng mga pwesto. And besides, he's more qualified. Far more qualified. Sorry, one last. I just have to ask this categorical question. Okay. Since you are now a presidential advisor, mas magtitimpi po ba kayo sa inyong pananalita? Ah, yes. Oo. In fact, uh, during the campaign, hindi na ako masyadong uh, ano eh, uh, adversarial yung dating eh. You know what? Uh, it has to be done eh. Kasi sobrang kasinungalingan yung ginagawa ng mga katunggali namin eh. So kung hindi mo sila madaan sa paliwanag, eh ba, daanin mo sa galit? O oh, eh di, naging effective. Presidente ngayon yung kandidato ko. <laughs> oh. At dahil naging presidente siya, naging sekretary ako. 
E dahil naging sekretary ko, I have a chance to help people, to serve uh, our uh, countrymen. And sabi ka sa iyo kanina, sampusang pera, dami-daming abogado. Hindi makapansin sa dami ng abogado. Oh, pero yung sekretary, ilan lang kami. It's sweeter to hear the word, sekretary, lari ka doon. Oh, di ba? Oh, kaya ako, tuwang-tuwa ako eh. <laughs> so I have no regrets. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. Oo, uh, uh, um, sana ay uh, ako, nananawagan din sa ating mga kasabahan sa media na yun naman mga kasinungalingan eh, ating sawatain din. Kasi nasisira din ang integrity uh, ng uh, media at uh, yung credibility ng media, nasisira din. Kung, kung uh, pati yung kasinungalingan, eh, kakampihan mo. Tapos yung na- nagagalit sa kasinungalingan, yun yung titirahin mo. <laughs> baliktad eh, no? So, sana, and, uh, at hihingi din ako ng uh, tulong sa media na itong mga programa na gagawin namin about poverty alleviation, this really needs public information. And uh, napakaliking role ng uh, media dito. And uh, lalong-lalo na itong sinasabi ko nga na uh, parang bayanihan concept na hihikayatin ko yung mga mayayaman, yung mga malalaking kumpanya, uh, yung malalaking kumpanya naman, they really spend money, uh, they have funds for their corporate social responsibility. Eh, mas maigi pa, dalhin na nila dun sa, ano, sa mga kabataan. At uh, parang talagang makatulong sila. And I was very happy because this morning, I learned that a very, very big company wants to partner with me, ah, hindi ko pa pwede pangalanan kasi hindi pa kami officially nagkaroon ng pirmahan ng uh, MOU. And uh, I am sure that uh, they are serious in this because that, uh, nagpahatid agad sila ng message. And in fact, dahil hindi nila alam yung number ko, tinawagan nila ang isang uh, kasamahan ko sa media din na doon nila ipinadaan. So, uh, next week, after the all taking, I'm going to have a meeting with them. Para July, ilo-launch na namin yun. Uh, probably next week. Wala pang particular na date kasi sobrang busy ngayon ni Presidente. And uh, sa kanya kasi ako mag-o-oath. Eh. Ngayon, pagka talaga sobrang busy siya, eh siguro uh, no less than uh, the Executive Secretary himself uh, would be a big honor. Maraming maraming salamat. No? Sige, kaya na tayo. Hindi pa ako nagla-lunch eh. Sa dami. I, I had 12 interviews today. Oh my God. Kaya nga sabi ko, daan na kaya ako dito? At uh, aking agawin ng uh, mikropono kay Atty. Mark Tolentino. Thank you so much sa inyo. No? Maraming maraming salamat.